What is up guys, Far here from Mustard.com and back out again with a really cool 2D platformer tutorial. So it's really cool, it's a really cool effect, a really cool game that we are going to create. Let me just quickly preview it, what we are going to create. So uh, yeah, let's get into it. I'm just going to lower the volume because we're going to have a jump sound and a pick, couple, pick collectible sound. So notice here, we have a game completely dark. If I press the key, key, you see, whoa, boom, you see, voila, we light our road and I can jump. I can go here and pick up this light as well, which will allow me to have this, you see, light here with myself and I can, well, then go and light my road. I also have here the enemy somewhere. Yeah, here it is. So we need to be careful if we don't touch it. Yeah, we are not going to die. This is the goal. If we go here, bam, we finish the level. So basically, we I'm not going to go into creating multiple levels and creating this game boom, like 300 levels, you publish it online, you make millions. No, I'm going to show you this really, really cool effect. And yeah, we're going to learn a lot of cool stuff, how we can with simple, re really simple tweaks, simple, simple workaround, so to say, create this really, really cool game now. But so uh, let's get into the game. Okay, my little developer gangsters, we are in a new project, which is a 2D project. And let me just change this to gameplay. For some reason, I like doing that. I don't know why. And I'm going to start with importing the assets. So we have the audio and we have the sprites. I'm simply going to drag and drop them. Link is in the description below if you want to follow this tutorial and download these assets. Okay, okay. So yeah, so what I'm going to do next is here in the gameplay, I'm going to right click. Hopefully the right click will count. So yeah, it, it counted second time. Let me just reset the transform. And this game object is going to be our level one or simply level because we are only going to have level one. So yeah, what I'm going to do next is go here in the sprites and take our platform, which is this one right here. And here is our platform. I am going to resize the platform. So it's going to be three on the X axis. I'm not going to touch the Y and the Z. I am going to click here on add component and I'm going to attach an edge collider 2D. What the hell is an edge collider teacher? You never taught us what is an edge collider and you start panicking and I'm going to say no, calm down. Okay. Edge collider is simply this. You see here edge collider is a collider that allows you to, you can shape it on your own. So for example, if I click here on this button where it says edit collider, if I click on that, you see now I can edit this. And this is the edge collider you see here. We're only going to have it on top of our platform. So we're only going to have it on top here as opposed if I use a box collider, which will, which will, uh, how to say that it will be all over this game object. So let me just take my highlight tool and explain that because sometimes I have issues, you see. So our edge collider currently is only here on top which we just edited with clicking on this button here, edit. But as, as opposed, if we use a box collider, which would be something like this, you see, this is the difference. Now we can also create more edges where we can, where we can move this edge collider to create. And if I, let me just remove the sprite render so that we don't see the sprite. You see where the edge collider is. You see this green line. This is the edge collider, only that. So we have only that. Now, what I'm going to do next is go here, click on add component, and I'm going to use a platform effector 2D. And in order for us to use this platform effector, we need to click here, use the by effector. You see, use by effector here and use collider mask. And here one way, use one way. Yes, we want. What is this? Well, you know, those games where you have, and if I take the player, let me just explain that. You know, those games where you have a platform and the player can jump below the platform and land on top of it. You know, well, that is this. This is that platform effector. This is what the platform effector can do for us. So this is what it can do for us. Simply without the platform effector, if we try to jump, so if we were to try to jump here like this, we will hit the collider, we will hit it and we will not be able to pass. But with the platform effector like this, then if I jump below this platform, I will be able to go over it and land on top of it. So this is pretty useful to know. Okay, so this is our platform and let me right click here and create a folder for prefabs with S at the end. It's plural, not singular. So I'm going to attach this platform right here. 
So what I'm gonna do now is drag and drop this platform under the level and uh, I'm gonna reposition it. So this one I'm going to position at zero for the X for the Y, it's gonna be negative. So it's negative 0.58 for the Y. And now I'm gonna duplicate it because we need more platforms. So I'm gonna duplicate it. So click on it and duplicate it. And this one is going to be at negative three point, let's say 51. And for the Y negative 1.34. Let me duplicate it one more time. So duplicate this one. This one is going to be at 3.58 and the Y is gonna be negative 0.93. We're gonna have a couple of platforms. So I need to reposition them like this. So sorry for that. This one is gonna be 6.45 and the Y is going to be 0.44. That is negative 0.44. Because again, we need these platforms, okay? We need the platforms, we need them. So this one is going to be at 9.59. This one I'm gonna resize on the X at four and the Y I'm gonna leave at 0.44. And let me just go here, platform. This one is going to be negative 6.31. And the Y is gonna be negative 0.56 duplicate it again. So I know it's tedious to do this. So negative 9.19. This one is going to be at, let's say, I'm gonna, should I leave it? Actually, let me just move this one something like this. So this one can be here. This one can be here as well. Something like this, maybe here we're going to use our, here we're going to put our collectible item. I don't know, maybe this right here. So this one can be here, something like this. And another one, probably here. Yeah, because I'm not that, uh, we're not gonna go in depth in creating a lot of levels and whatnot. We're simply gonna create the effect of the game that we saw because I found it really cool and I want to create it. So yeah, this is currently our game. This is the setup of our game. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select the main camera and I'm gonna set the size of our projector projection to four. And I'm also going to set here, okay, 1280 by 720. Yeah, this is our game. So before we proceed in doing all the fancy stuff that our game consists of, I am going to select the alien, which is our player. So I'm gonna say here, alien, this is our player. On the alien game object, we're gonna attach a box collider. So here we're gonna attach a box collider 2D. I am going to resize it a little bit because I don't want it to be this large. So what I'm gonna do, 0.39 is for the X and that is all. I'm also going to attach a rigid body component. So rigid body 2D. I'm not gonna touch anything here, but I am going to set the constraints to freeze the Z rotation. So here constraints, freeze rotation on the Z axis. We don't want it to rotate like a crazy person. And uh, yeah, the next thing to do is attach an animator. Voila, here it is. And go here in the assets and I'm gonna right click and create a folder for animations. We did not do animations in a while. And here I'm gonna create another folder for player animations. So select the alien or actually right click here and create an animator controller, which is going to be our player. So player controller. Now select the alien and attach this to the animator. I'm also going to tag the player with the player tag. Voila, here we are. So now when we click on the alien, I'm going to go here in animation. So let me put this animation right here. So I'm going to click on create and the first one is going to be idle. The next one is going to be walk. And the third one is going to be jump and not jump, it's jump with M. So now I can go here in the assets and sprites and for the player, for the idol, I'm simply gonna drag alien pink stand. This is our idol. For the walk, I'm gonna drag all of these from walk zero one up to walk 11. So walk zero one to walk 11. And for the jump, I'm also going to simply drag and drop this P3 jump. And that is all my friends. That is all for our player. We can now start, let me just go here and drag and drop and create a prefab out of it. We can now start programming everything. So yeah, woohoo, 
you like programming, I know. So I'm gonna right click here and create a new folder and this is going to be our script and inside of it, I'm gonna right click a new folder for player scripts. 